When you start doing off-roading things or you start going over obstacles, you're going to have to start wearing safety equipment because it's a lot more dangerous than just riding down the street in your neighborhood. So the most important piece of safety equipment you'll need is a helmet to protect your head. And you'd think it's because you'd fall and hit your head. It doesn't happen as often as smacking your head into branches, amazingly enough. And so a helmet's really, really important. And the rule is if you do have a big wreck with your helmet, you need to throw it away and get a new one just to be extra, extra safe. So, in addition to a helmet, if that's not enough for you or you don't feel like that's, you know, you want more safety gear, um, lots of people say, oh, well, I need knee pads. You'd be surprised you don't fall on your knees as much as you fall on your wrists. Because when you fall off of a unicycle, you're going down like that. It's not like on a bicycle where you're just kind of, you know, you're going to fall. It's like you're going to fall all the way forward and you're going to catch yourself on your hands. And so there's a lot more wrist fractures than there is knee injuries in unicycling. So if you want to wear safety gear, I mean, you definitely should wear a helmet. But then if you want to add more safety gear, you should wear wrist guards also. In addition to having a helmet and wrist guards as safety gear, a lot of off-road unicycles have metal spikes on the pedals. You can't have clipped pedals with a unicycle because you wouldn't be able to pull your feet out in time. So they have metal spikes in order to keep your feet on. And the most common injury of all is your foot slips off the pedal and it gives you a giant gash on the back of your calf. I have several scars because I don't like wearing shin guards, but if that's something that you're worried about, you should definitely take that into consideration before you start off-roading.